We have just landed in Madrid. It's my last city, last stop in this Spanish this tour. So I'm gonna enjoy my last four days here in Spain. My last four days here in Madrid. And uh, I really don't want to film right now. So I'm really tired, but I film what I can. Look at this massive arrival area that they have here in Madrid. about 7 30 in the evening well it's still morning here in Madrid but right now we're just headed to go for something to eat and then just go around here in Madrid because I have nothing planned today just want to wander around and take videos and photos so enjoy the city view I'm gonna be filming here so this photo right here is called Plaza Mayor first order of business is have something to eat this time they close this road for people to walk So I know we're in Madrid, Spain, but I'm having a pizza over here. I have no other choice. I'm hungry. And this is the closest food that I want to eat right now. So, enjoy. Since you found a store, let's just check it out. Right here are the popular churros that they have. We're probably going to have it in a few days, for sure. As the sun is about to go... As the sun is about to go down, we are just out here, Plata Mayor, enjoying this lovely day today. But God damn, it's about a few meters from here, there is a, a rally or something that's going on over there. People shouting and screaming and uh, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but we are going to check it out. That's where this, um, the plaza is at. So if I'm not mistaken, this is Plaza del Sol. And uh, there's something going on here. So many people. Starting the day kind of late. And it's Sunday today. And surprisingly, we have so many people walking around. So I think it's a good time to hit the streets. I have a 3 p.m. bus tour to get a good look around the city and I'm heading right now to La Plaza Canovas de la Castillo. I don't know if I said it right but this is the situation right now in Plaza del Sol or is it del Sol? Yeah. So it's gonna be a short walk to Plaza Canovas de Castillo. From here I just go straight and we arrive. So before actually heading there, I have to see this um, point of Madrid where it's basically the start of the map of Madrid. It's Kilometro Zero. It's basically a popular spot here in Madrid. So when you're in Madrid, you have to check it out. Morenas. Well, you know what it is. It's zero. Kilometer zero of Madrid. I'm definitely not sure if this Museo de del Jamón is a popular spot, but people are people seem to be flocking around here, so maybe this is really popular. But off we go. We are at the meeting point, but I still have about 30. 35 minutes to burn, so I'm just gonna just, I don't know, take videos here. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm here and it's cold, but I've been eating ice cream a lot in, in, Span in Spain, and it's just funny. Now I'm doing the most touristy thing that a tourist can ever do, is be on a hop-on, hop-off bus, touring around the city. I'm not really complaining right now, because for the past few, day, past few weeks I've been walking so much and uh, I needed this. So let's just enjoy. 
good weather today. And let's just bask in what Madrid has to offer. The famous Real Madrid Stadium in Madrid, Spain. In a 10 minute stop at this stadium, it's where the Real Madrid football club plays. And uh, yeah. I hope, well, I'll try to make a booking for the tour inside, but right now I am just hopping on this hop on up off bus tour, so I'm not really gonna be able to do much. But for all my football friends, no, football fan friends, so this is it. Just too bad I didn't do it in, I didn't get to visit the Camp Nou for FC Barcelona, but. I'm sure some of you guys will love this one. All of those guys have the same afro Jesus. Well, it's a wig, but whatever. The hype, so it's like visiting Staples Center or Madison Square Garden for, you know, s s football players. I mean, football fans. So I know that I get the hype. <laughs> Central. You see they are certified of excellence for churros. Right now we're having churros and chocolate. Right. It's the bomb. If you happen to be in Spain or wherever in Spain, you have to try churros. Man. It's just great. Finally able to hear the birds chirping. So we're now closing in into Grand Via. Let's see what we can find here. So basically they call Grand Via the Times Square of Madrid. And I see why. I can totally see why. Tall buildings looking exactly how um, Times Square should look like. And this street goes from way over there and way over there so it's a long it's a long walk long street i have not been to new york but i feel like if you're here it feels like it and right there is a popular schweppes building i don't know if i said it right but yeah So this is a popular Cine Scaliel. I feel like it's such a shame that most part of Gran Villa is under construction or under renovation. But still, it is still beautiful out here. Part of Gran Villa. And uh, if you look at it, there's the famous Rolex building that out here. So from head on, you're going to go maybe a few kilometers this is a long street famously called Gran Via Digo esto porque lo que vamos a hacer en verdad es muy popular, peligroso, ¿vale? El chico va a saltar, shows, va a girar, va a caer del otro lado, ¿ok? No es fácil hacer shows. esta hazaña. This guy just took off a shirt. Hey, and it's so freaking cold out here. He took off a shirt. Hey, it's just so stupid, yo. Apparently, all of these performances are all over Europe, and Madrid is has a lot of this, or even even Barcelona. Retiro because we're trying to check oh, for what was it? The glass? The glass palace. The glass palace. I'm with Ebony Rose. Hey Ebony, do you want to say hi? 
No, never mind. She's she's shy. My tour guide for today. Now, Dinas de Buen Retiro. We're lost. Is that not foggy? Yeah, two two steps from the train. We are lost because we are supposed to go to this glass, whatever palace. Palace, but we're unsure where in this part that is located. So we are now lost. It's a lovely day. Guys, I thought it's only dirty in the Philippines, but god damn this is dirty. Yeah. <sighs> Look at this. Well, it's not meant for swimming anyway, like but still, one. they have to clean this up. I'm disappointed. Oh, palace. I'm just showing you clips of this one because I feel like it's of interest. So, we're in this beautiful park and a beautiful day today. It's lovely. How cool is that? We have a white swan over here. Hey, pretty girl. We are now here in Las Ventas Bullring in Madrid. <laughs> Today is gonna love the weather in Spain, in Madrid. I'm just wearing a t-shirt as you can see it. And since this being my last day in Madrid and my last day in Spain, I figured I'm gonna go shopping and do something fun today just to make the day more memorable because I'm gonna miss Spain for sure. So let's do this. So we're currently in this store called Size. And let's just check some of the stuff they have here and see if we get to buy something getting the climate cool ultra boost size 8.5 and a half or 8.5 lovely this is the reason why we're getting broke out here later but hurt they didn't want me to film even though I bought something from, from the store, but whatever. This, so we're at the store called Foot District. But I don't know, they're closed, man. They have a lot of shoes, they have a lot of sneakers for sure. But, well, on to the next. Right now we got the Ultra Boost Climber. Got what we need. And now we're going to. Probably Gucci and Balenciaga. That's done, we're done. 